G'day scrappers, just came back from another pickup, and yeah, it wasn't too bad this one. A couple of uh, big white boards that I've got to deal with, uh, I'll, I'll um, probably just end up passing them on because uh, they're just too big for me to sort of do anything with them. Um, a lot of this stuff came from in originally, it was it's the old stock from a from a bank. It's actually from um, every branch of banks in the state. So these are die docks. Um, they're a docking station where they would put their iPod or something on there uh, for the music for the bank and, um, and any other recording that they, they put for the bank, advertisements and that. And that's just the volume control. Um, yeah, so they're branded. By the bank and uh, I've been given these to uh, recycle and destroy and I don't know really what's inside them there's three boxes of them here so uh, it's quite a lot of work to dismantle them um, so I'm hoping that there's something you know a reasonably good board inside uh, I, I don't want to just send them off as scrap metal uh, until I see what's inside so I'll scrap uh, one of these out and we'll check out what's in there and uh yeah i'm just just got back so um a lot of all the power cable supplies so this is why i like to have uh empty bins and uh that are free because when i do these pickups I can keep these cords out, out of the rain, a lot easier to store, and um, and then get rid of the boxes straight away. Yeah, so it looks like all the AC adapters for these little uh, die docks. Uh, just uh, speakers. They're unusual speakers, pretty old, a bit sticky. <laughs> uh, yeah, not bad. All right, yeah, so oh, here's another box of that stuff. Now that's a, that's a nice speaker, USB speaker. I'll keep this one. Bluetooth portable speaker. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be a lot of work to uh, scrap each one of these individually. At least they've got good size screws, so I can just use my power drill and get through them. So I'll take them in and uh, we'll scrap a few out. Now I've got another interesting little thing in there, a uh, little Apple uh, music things uh, and some really nice looking amps. So they should be pretty good too. So, uh, yeah. So it's another new client, and uh, these this client obviously does uh, well. They service one of their clients. He's obviously the bank, and um, they're a sound and audio visual kind of company so they deal with all the audio visual of this bank so yeah there's another box heaps of these it's going to be interesting boxes are too weak for the weight wow that's a lot of scrapping time there but we don't complain because the more work I get the more I eat <laughs> especially at the moment when uh, there's no um, hobby side of scrapping at the moment 
in summer street scrap starts at the start of winter so um, so and I've got a, another um, really old client that I haven't serviced uh, in a couple of years and I'm just waiting for a booking from them it's a lot of PCs from the other place so hopefully they contact me in the next couple of days That's a lot of a lot of processing there too with all these cables. A lot of processing. You know, cutting the plugs off, processing it. Uh, I usually what I try and do is I, I look it up, I look up these models and see what else they'll fit, because a lot of these power supplies can can fit a lot of different things. So sometimes. They're, uh, they're worth reselling, but um, yeah, the only problem with power supplies that I've found over the years is um, you've got to compete with uh, aftermarket power supplies that do the same thing, um, which these probably even are. Um, sellers on eBay from China, I mean, if this sells for five bucks, they'll send it free shipping five bucks if I sell it for five bucks I've got to charge like um, eight dollars for shipping so you can't compete with uh, the Chinese sellers because um, you know no one's going to buy the same thing off me for the same price if they've got to pay eight dollars on top shipping I can't avoid it now I've got this NEC display TV um, it's a really heavy one. This will be uh, interesting to see what sort of boards are in there, but it's yeah, it's super heavy this one for some reason. And yeah, I just want to get to the. I got a, also a box of telephones um, and some yeah, real some cool things. Yeah, and those white boards. Well, I've got to deal with them same as these projectors I don't do much with these projectors yeah uh, even got heaters get all kinds of things here so electric fans but yeah there is a box of uh, some interesting stuff in here I want to get to some pretty decent sized speakers uh, yeah so and a lot of uh, amps and stuff probably from the music center uh, from the music system as well I'm not really sure how it works all right well let me just get the rest of this out and we'll uh, have a look at some of the stuff um, on the bench when I bring bring it out ah FedEx just dropped me off a parcel as well uh-huh So all the way from New York. Cool. See if I can quickly open that up before I run out of battery. I know what they are. I was waiting on these couple of new crucibles. A little bit smaller than the one I'm using, but actually they're not really that much smaller. Paper and plastic. Oh. Salamander. A8. Look at them. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Little chippy. Just want to make sure, and since I got it on video, just in case they're broken, you know. 
No. Nah. All good. Ship from America only took about five or six days. Wow. Salamander Super. The real deal. Awesome. And they're nice and fresh too. Oh well. Nice little bonus while I'm uh, emptying out my van. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, get back to work. Actually, what I decided to do is instead of taking these whiteboards out because I can't deal with them, um, I'm going to take them straight to my buyer and he'll, um, he'll process them himself. He can uh, do whatever he wants with them. Yeah. There'd be a bit of wire through there, but uh, uh, I'll just leave them to him. Um, yeah, I can't uh, do anything with them. They just because uh, um, mostly it's it's all plastic and stuff. There is a little bit of steel, but then it's just too complicated to get rid of. And if I'm going to give it to my mate. I'd rather give it to give it to him complete because he might be able to use them in his factory. Um, especially this one has got lines on it. Um, he might be able to put bookings and stuff on there. And the other one is uh, um, it's probably not one that you actually write on, but uh, yeah, he, I think he'll like this one. So I'll just get rid of these two, take it up there. It's, he's about ten minutes away. Um, just give it to him at the same time. I've just cut the cords off these fans um, and he'll shred these up as well and because he, he now shreds plastic I'll also give him that uh, projector that I don't want so I'll just take this away now I'll drop them off and I'll come back and I'll finish emptying the van and we'll go about scrapping a few items okay so ended up getting rid of those whiteboards and uh, a few bits and pieces and then emptied the van, stacked up all the good stuff here. Uh, ended up getting a lot of these in boxes. There's probably uh, almost, uh, there has to be at least 100, 150. Um, and yeah, uh, a lot of phones and stuff. But it's mostly just uh, um, music equipment like switches for um, main music systems in uh, banks or buildings and whatnot. Also some projectors. So, yeah, these Extron um, switches, yeah, again, they're, they're for music, mostly. Um, they're really not that valuable or anything special um, as resale. Uh, so, I'm not going to bother reselling, trying to do any resale or anything. Um, I'm just going to uh, scrap uh, most of these out. There are a couple of things that I might keep aside, like this thing here. For resale and um, a few of the things at the back that I'll get to um, now oh, I tell you um, yeah so uh, a couple of pieces here that look to be okay these are really awesome things they're not they're actually quite valuable it just depends on the cards inside and for me, it's just hard to, uh, um, you know, value what the cards are worth and, uh, you know, work out how to actually list the cards. So, um, so basically, it's just, yeah, some kind of, um, you know, sort of switch or whatever. Uh, I can show you in the back. Yeah, it's, this one's uh, doesn't have. It's got its back missing, so it's probably got some cards missing. But as you can see, all oh, whole heap of nice cards. So I just want to. I'll scrap this one out, and we'll check out all the cards. Uh, there's another one that I'll keep complete, and um, if it has got all the cards, I'll just leave it as is. If not, I might save some of these cards and try and make up one system to see if I can sell it. Um, now, oh, you're going to have to bear with me a bit. 
because believe it or not even though this video seems like I've just gone dropped off um, the whiteboards and then put the stuff on here and I'm back at it believe it or not this was this uh, stuff on this table was put here seven days ago um, I've been missing for seven days and um, what happened was uh, after that night I done this the next I, I left it for the next day and the next day I got up from bed and I couldn't move I was uh, I had a lot of stomach pain and stuff and um, by the end of the day I had to go to hospital because there was so much pain and uh, turns out I had appendicitis and so they had to um, you know straight away had to have my appendix taken out um, and then I ended up you know I was in hospital for five full days and I've been recovering out of hospital now for a couple of days and I still got I still feel like oh, I'm buggered <laughs> um, and I've I've got some really good pickups to do I had to uh, push them forward one week and it looks like I might even have to push them forward another week because I don't think I'm going to be able to actually do them. Um, I got one pick up in a couple of days time. I'm st uh, I don't know if I can actually go and do it. It's a big job. It's about 50 computers and uh, but I'll see how I go. Hopefully I'm, going, I'm trying to move around a bit today and hopefully I can actually go and do this uh, pick up in a couple of days and uh, yeah anyway so that's what they've done to me so the three holes they uh, drill into <laughs> and it's like keyhole surgery and yeah so and they reckon you know our oh, keyhole surgery is good because it's less invasive it feels like they've gone in and just ripped my guts out so anyway I uh, can't complain I'm still here I suppose um, I just uh, I'm pretty uh, lost for breath and and so um, I wanted to scrap a few of these things out so I'll just um, before I do that I'll just see how I feel and uh, whether this video might just end here and um, or whether uh, I'll just wait and I'll stretch it out and I'll do a scrap out a couple of nice things here um, but the other thing I wanted to show you part of this pickup was this box oh, and check this out oh man ready I'll come in a bit closer all right this is part of the music systems I'm pretty sure they're all part of these. Look at that. They're little Apple uh, Apple Nanos. How's that? And they're pretty good ones too. Little apples. All different colours. There's like hundreds of them. Different hair. Yeah. Like pink. Awesome. That's so cool. I didn't know what they were. I had to uh, think about it for a while because I saw, you know, the apple and I thought, well, there's a big dock there. Um, so I put two and two together and it looks like they were using these die docks for these apple thingos, right? And all I have to do And because all these docks have got the uh, power supply, it makes it a bit easier. Okay, so all I should be able to do is plug that in, and there we go. The little apple, and there we go, there's our music. So then it's just a matter of connecting uh, to uh, left and right speakers. And uh, there's already hundreds or probably thousands of uh, 
songs on here so um really uh yeah all albums gosh so that's interesting hey i don't know what to do with them i mean obviously they're not going to be yeah so this this one's a little bit different because it's got the uh, master switch here uh, volume control but there's other ones that are slightly different yeah so these ones look a little bit um more heavier duty uh simply they've got a well they've got the headphone um dial as well so there's a little bit more to it i suppose and on the back you can see the the difference to the backs are completely different and it looks like there's about half and half of each and so this one's just got speaker and that's it so this one's got different speakers um but it's also got for the headphone and you can also charge um so yeah and the uh they're actually got gold pins so like i said i've already scrapped one of these out i just did it quickly and the, the board there wasn't much but at least there were some gold pins you 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 know can get out which i already did um but there you go so i really don't know what to do with them i mean these are you know it's obviously old technology now uh but these are uh, ipod nanos I should have counted how many there were but yeah when I saw them in the box like that and I'm picking up gosh what are these so a really interesting pickup from this place um nice green ones and they're all in beautiful condition so they might they probably would make some kind of really nice art display you know putting a whole bunch together How's that? So a really unusual thing to pick up. Um, yeah, just don't know what to do. iPod Nanos. Oh, um, so that's funny. All right, so, yeah. Yeah, so with these, they're all got different kinds of boards. I mean, they're nothing spectacular. But at least they've got nice, really nice gold fingers. Um, yeah, pretty good. It's just nice that there's so many of them. Uh, so I'm really happy with that. Just for the gold fingers. Um, because they're, they're good quality ones. Um, and just probably the removable IC but yeah quite a unusual you know mix of stuff from a pickup um, so these boards um, I should probably just look these up first because I think that could be quite valuable these individual boards they might still be sellable just got to look them up and see Yeah, but uh, it's a new client, so yeah, I did also I did get a lot of these um, USB connectors as well, so I'd imagine they these would most likely be for the um, the iPod uh, Nanos as well, you know, or these might just be for the iPod Nanos. Um, I'm not sure. There's also some iPods, uh, but the interesting things I got out of this batch are a whole bunch of these little adapters. So, where you put the, uh, the normal thing in, 
the other way right and then you got this the little one so i haven't uh, i've never gotten these little ones probably because they're so small but i got a whole bunch of these too so uh, i'll keep them they're i don't know you know if they'll come in handy but uh um i'll definitely keep all these cables because they're all in good condition and usually uh when you get these these ones they're usually all half worn out so um yeah but um i'm i'm just uh really uh st i'm still in quite a bit of pain and i've got so many painkillers and antibiotics running through my system now um, I'm, I'm on real strong stuff for a few more days and um, I just can't really think straight and uh, it's even hard for me to keep my breath um, so I've just been because I've been sort of sitting in hospital uh, and in bed for so long I've just sort of lost a bit of um, my fitness I think and uh, yeah I'm just not uh, doing it very well but what do you do so um, I'm just not up to doing any scrapping on video at the moment I need another couple of days to um, just to come good here because I just I just can't get my mind around anything really at the moment uh, it's really hard to focus so apologize for it being uh, such a crappy video I th you know, I was trying to put one out there and I, it was really exciting when I started the video. I thought, oh, this is going to be a great video. I'm going to scrap some, some interesting things and that. But, you know, they're still here and I'll be able to scrap them out in time. Uh, stuff like this happens, you know. Um, I've been doing videos for a few years now and, you know, it's sort of haven't, you know, really taken much of a break. Um, been lucky enough to be able to keep going so uh, um, I guess time has come now that uh, I've just got to heal and get myself better and um, still I've got to keep my mind occupied a little bit you know I can't just sit there and think about uh, being sick you know or being in pain um, so I thought just to end this video I thought I'll just count out how many of these nanos are, um, are here uh, there's stacks of three so far just for something to do um, and yeah if uh, anyone's got any ideas on what I can do with them I, I don't know about really selling them on eBay or anything because you know what do i sell them with uh, just on their own uh, uh, i think they're just out of date now more of a, a novelty thing now uh, i can't see anyone oh i've got to buy myself a ipod nano because that's what i need for music um but i don't know some might have an idea on what to uh what to do so let me just finish stacking up here okay well I um, uh, had a little bit of fun at least stacking them up that's about uh, as much work as I can handle for the time being um, so yeah quite a few different colors and yeah I ended up stacking them four high so what do we got 6 12 18 24 30 36, 42, 48, uh, 52 times 4 is, uh, okay, that's 208 plus another 2 on the side, 210. How's that? I didn't expect 210. Um, I thought there was over 100, but wow, 210 iPod Nanos. If you think about it, you know that was you know would have been worth quite a lot of money to buy them in the in this at the start 
210. And that's about how many of those uh, um, consoles that I've got too, the die docks. So, because um, I definitely don't have 210 cables. So yeah, maybe they did come from the die docks. Um, wow. What do you do with 210 iPod Nanos? Um, you know, I know that, you know, we don't have things like um, exchange, like buyback for this kind of stuff here in Australia. I know that, um, like in America, you could actually sell these back to a, a retail store. Um, I think it's Walmart or something where they've got a buyback price. It's like selling cell phones. And I think they're paying like 15 bucks each for them, you know? Geez, that that would be three thousand dollars US just there. Um, yeah, maybe someone wants to um, uh, take them over and uh, take them to Walmart and cash them in or something. And get yourself three grand, you know. Anyway, we'll work out what to do with them. Uh, who knows? Um, you know, I'd like to you know do a big giveaway, one each, but it, that would end up, you know, two hundred of them. Um, sending 200 to 200 different locations, it would end up costing me probably a thousand dollars in postage anyway. Um, but uh, anyway, guys, that's all I can really handle for today. Um, and I just thought I just wanted to finish off this video because it was half made, and I thought, oh, you know, I've got to do just want to clear this off, and when I feel better, I'll come good, and uh, we'll get into scrapping some good stuff. I've got a really awesome pickup in a couple of days. Hopefully, I can I can get the job done. Um, I'm, you know, it's going to be a bit of a struggle. I might have to uh, bring it forward a few more days, but we'll see how we go. And then hopefully from then on, um, I'll be off the painkillers and off the um, everything else, and my uh, my operation will heal. And I'll be able to get back into scrapping and uh, having a bit of fun out here um, in the uh, scrap world. All right, guys. Well, enough of this. Keep scrapping. Have fun. And uh, I'll catch you uh, soon.